Hi everyone, it's very good to have you with us uh, and we pray these devotions are encouraging for you at this time. If there's anything we can do as a church to help you uh, in your situation during the lockdown, please do let us know. We'd love to be able to help in some way. Well, for our daily devotions in Holy Week, uh, we're considering the power of the cross. Yesterday we thought about how Jesus substituted himself for sinners. And today we're going to build on that really, and we're going to consider how the, that demonstrates God's relentless love. In Romans chapter 5, verse 8, we read this. God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. When we consider the cross, there we see a perfect display of how much God loves us. God sent his son to die so that we might not face the punishment we deserve. And that's the substitute part of the cross uh, coming up again. But the reason, or at least one of the big reasons for doing this, was because God loves us. And God sent Jesus to die for us because he loves us. I mean, just think for a moment about those nurses and doctors and care workers and other medical staff treating patients who have C19. They are putting themselves at risk because they care for the person they're treating. Now may, they might not know the patient very well, but they still care enough about them to put their own health at risk to help them. Well, in a similar way, God shows how much he loves us that he was willing to send his own son to die for us. Uh, but it's, it's bigger and more amazing than that. Uh, to get a good sense of how great God's love for you is, you need to pay attention to this verse. Uh, let me repeat it again. It was while we were still sinners that Christ died for us. You know, just consider it for a moment how much God knows you. Uh, he knows you perfectly. He knows how you think, how you f uh, act, how you feel. Uh, he knows you better than your spouse or your parents or your friends know you. Uh, he knows you inside out and back to front. He knows your deepest secrets. You know, the things that you're most proud of and the things uh, you're most ashamed of. I'm glad that you don't know me that well, but God knows us perfectly. And that means God knows what kind of sinners we are. Yet, he loves us so much that in spite of how we've sinned against him, and against one another, he still died for us. And that's how much he loves you. And despite your deepest, darkest secrets that you've never told anyone else about, he still loves you. He loves you so much that he sent his own son to die for you. God's love for you is relentless. And the cross shows us that. And so if you're trusting Jesus, what that means for you today is amazing. It means you can't out -sin God's love for you. It's not like God has sort of got a certain amount of love and then every time you sin, God's love weakens and goes down a little bit. No, God loves you because he loves you. Not because of how lovable you feel on a particular day. The cross demonstrates just how much God loves us. That while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 
Now let's pray as we consider that. I'm going to pray using a verse earlier on in the chapter from Romans chapter 5 verse 5. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the hope that you give us in Christ. And we pray that your love would be poured out into our hearts today through your Holy Spirit who has been given to us. We pray that we may know the, the greatness and the majesty and, and the splendour of how much you love us. That whilst we were still sinners, you gave your son for us. We thank you and we praise you for that. Help us to know that love today, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, God willing, I'll be able to catch up with you tomorrow as well.